All right, we're just uh, breaking away from that interview for a minute because Godrej Property has declared their numbers and Pirosha Godrej is giving us the details. 58% on a top line perspective, our EBITDA has grown by about 63% and our net profit by 24%. Um, our margins have also improved to about 29% and we've been able to reduce debt this quarter by over 100 crore. Uh, from an operational perspective, we've had a very good quarter. From a bookings point of view, we grew um, in value terms by about 85%, which takes the nine-month uh, year-to-date growth on bookings perspective um, to 160%. Um, this has been driven largely by the continuing success of our new launches. So in quarter three, we had four new launches across the, the three very important markets for us of Mumbai and CR and Bangalore. Um, in Mumbai, we launched the third phase of our project in Vikroli Godrej Platinum. That has seen uh, very good volumes and we've actually increased prices over a 12-month period by about 40% in that project. Similarly, our project Godrej Summit in Gurgaon has seen a very strong success. We, as some of you know, launched uh, that project um, in September and sold about 1 million square feet on the, on the first day that we launched the project. For the second phase, our intent has been to uh, you know, push prices up and, and focus more on margins. And we've done that quite successfully at prices about 25% about higher than our first phase prices. We've sold another 100,000 square feet of space in that project. And the third city where we actually had two launches this quarter was uh, Bangalore. And here again, the launches have done very well, particularly our project Godrej E-City, uh, where we sold about 375,000 square feet of space in quarter three. That project was launched at the beginning of the quarter. Actually, the response was well beyond what we were expecting. So we had launched a second phase of that project within the same quarter, which hadn't initially been planned. So I think that has also gone very well. Uh, from a new business uh, development perspective, we, we also saw some success in the third quarter. We added um, one new redevelopment project in Mumbai, in Curry Road. Um, and that project we, we hope to la launch over the next 12 months. And actually with this new redevelopment project in, in, in the last quarter of calendar 2012, we've actually been successful in adding at least one new project um, in each of the quarters of, of calendar 2012. So I think that shows good momentum uh, in, our, in the redevelopment space for Godrich Properties. Um, you know, there have been a number of other highlights uh, for the quarter, which I'm sure we can uh, we'll discuss in the Q&A. But I think broadly, we, we've ended 2012 on a, on a strong note, and we're very optimistic about the potential that lies ahead for 2013. I think from a macro environment perspective, we expect 2013 to be a much more supportive year than 2012 was. As you all know, um, I think the government has taken some uh, really strong steps now in uh, reigniting the reform uh, process in India. I think that will do a great deal to improve business and economic sentiment. Also, the RBI's important move of, of lowering interest rates and uh, the cash reserve ratio, we think, signals the beginning uh, of, the, of the interest rate cycle turning. And that, too, uh, will be tremendously beneficial for the Indian economy as a whole, for the real estate particular, real estate sector in particular, and certainly for all of us at, at Godrej Properties. So with that, you know, we're very happy to take any questions you may have. Uh, you just mentioned that you raised prices in certain projects. <coughs> so, I mean, uh, could you share with us going forward, do you think scope of uh, raising your prices and to improve margins for them? Well, I think, you know, uh, broadly speaking, we, have, we think prices can and will move up uh, for Indian real estate. We don't expect necessarily for them to move up by the kind of uh, magnitudes I spoke about in, in some of our projects. But certainly the idea that there is a, a, a high likelihood of prices correcting in India, we don't think uh, there is much, much justification for. We think uh, the, the economic cycle, as I said, has, has troughed out. We think um, interest rates coming down will greatly improve affordability uh, for customers. GDP growth coming back in will greatly improve customers' you know, confidence in, in coming back into the real estate market. So broadly speaking, I would expect to see um, you know, moderate pickups in, in, in real estate prices across the country. But I think more important for us, what we hope to see in 2013 is a much stronger return of volumes. While you know, we've been quite successful at Godrich Properties uh, through new launches in, in accelerating our volumes, I think for the sector as a whole, there clearly is a concern that, that volumes are lower than, than we'd uh, like to see for the sector. 
and more important than price increases again will be customers uh, you know coming back in, in in volumes returning to the sector it's about the net debt of the company is about 1500 crore Uh, any uh, plans to discuss in the next three months or any kind of guidance? And a couple of questions about uh, how much did you launch in Summit Phase 2 and if you could share some number about Godrej Summit? Sure. Um, so, I'll start with the two project questions. For Godrej Summit, we launched about 150,000 square feet of space. We sold about 110,000 of that. As I mentioned, the price difference that we took when we launched the second phase in November over September pricing was about 25%. Um, so that's gone very well for us. In uh, Godrej E-City, we launched the project at about 3,000 and current prices there are at about uh, 3,500. We've sold, as I said, 375,000 square feet of space by the end of uh, quarter three in that project. Most of that is from the first phase because uh, we launched the second phase of that project right at the end of the quarter. And on the question on debt, you know, as we've said, we're quite comfortable with where our debt levels stand. Um, there's been a further 100 crore reduction in um, Q3 through operating cash flow. Um, if you compare our debt equity ratio at the beginning of calendar year 2012 and at the end of calendar year 2012, um, there's a difference of 2 is to 1, which, we've, which has now been brought to 1 is to 1. Um, we have always guided that, you know, we are quite comfortable operating with a debt equity level anywhere between 1 to 1.5 is to 1. So currently actually our, our debt level is, is below even our, our, our lower end target. We may um, look at further reducing that as I've also said because we're looking at focusing more on residential projects which inherently uh, are easier to manage from a cash flow perspective. So I certainly think there will be further opportunities in 2013 um, uh, you know, to further strengthen our balance sheet but as I've also said that, that to us is not a critical priority at the moment. Dutch pension has invested in any kind of project? Almost one year. No, it's not almost one year. We, that partnership was concluded in June, so it's about six months. As we've said, the time frame for investments through that partnership is 24 months. Uh, so the first investment has not yet been done, but we do expect to close that uh, soon. Uh, you know, purchasing land or making investments in real estate projects does take its own time. These are not things that we would like to rush into and then uh, find that the, the, the problems at a later date. So I think that uh, platform is very much on track. We are evaluating uh, many current opportunities, but we haven't closed any uh, any project as of now. All right, Godrish Property is there with a jump in profits and revenue. Stocks also holding up higher. We'll take a break. Back with more on the countdown. <laughs> Countdown presented by BSC Investors Protection Fund.